Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Darrell Addison. I'm the founder, CEO of a company called Torpedo Pot. We make self-growing planters, where that they grow your food and your plants for you with no human intervention. You simply put your seeds or your plants in a planter, you fertilize as needed, and these planters run year round. You never water your plants. Microbial process inside the soil feeds your plants so that your plants will have a home for the rest of their life. In return, those plants will give you continuous food and beauty for the rest of your life. So what we're doing now, I want to come back and want to cut my, uh, I have red onions, yellow onions, and I have white onions. And we've already harvested, I think, uh, maybe once or twice, maybe once or twice. Yeah, maybe twice. And so I'm going to come back, I'm going to harvest again. I don't think, I think we had a total of, I think, uh, I'll do a research, but you can keep me straight. Look at our older onion videos. I think we harvested maybe about a pound or two pounds or something of onion. So, so now I'm going to go cut the tops off right now. Um, it's not early in the season for these onions. It's early in the season for us, but for the onions, uh, because of them coming out early during the spring, sometimes they mature extremely, these, these smaller onions very quickly. So look into your region and find out what's going on. Well, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to harvest these onions. I love onions. I use it with a lot of our foods. Sometimes I come out and eat it raw. That's a oniony taste. <laughs> so let's start with the uh, red, yellow onions first. Because it's still, the season is still maturing for these onions, I'm just gonna pick a predetermined height and I'm just gonna cut them all down. Because I'm assuming that there's enough strength and energy in that onion for it to still it's the life cycle is not finished yet, so it will continue to grow. Oh, by the way, if you don't know, hi, my name is Darrell Addison, and these are torpedo pots. These torpedo pots, what they do is that they grow your food for you. You don't have to grow your food anymore. You just simply come out, you put your seeds or your plants in and you come out and you harvest your food. And trust me, you're getting the best food in the world. The most nutritious smelling food in the world. And um, I've already harvested them twice. This is the third harvest that we're doing at this point. And so I get to store these onions when I want to use them to make my sauces. So I have fresh, continual supply of food all of the time. Not some of the time, all of the time. And this is what this planter does. It waters my food for me. It creates a microbial process that feeds my food for me. I don't have to do anything. All we do is supplement once a week. And that's it. We're done. But it creates so much tremendous food. Look at this. Isn't that amazing? Besides the tips, because remember now, we cut the tips off uh, during their earlier years. But besides the tips, you don't have any problems with these onions at all. They're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. And they're ready and roaring to go inside of your body. The pita pots behind me, they grow your food for you with no human intervention. All you do is put your seeds or your onions in the planter and it grows it for you. You don't have to do anything anymore. And it grows your food perfect all of the time. Not some of the time, all of the time. So, cut the rest of my onions down here. Now, for those who are harvesting, this is a great time to pull out any weeds in your planters 
that you see maybe taking off and trying to grow into this environment. Just take them and pull them out. Because when the plants were there, they hogged up all the sunlight. But now the plants are gone, you have the smaller plants that may want to hog up the sunlight. And you don't want that to happen. So just remove them, that's all. So I just harvested all of those onions. And this is the extent of the weeding that I'm doing. It's done. Oh, maybe a little more. I'm a perfectionist. I'll make sure everything's out of there. Yeah, it looks good. Oh, we need done. I'm finished. I'm happy with the finished product. Good. I want you to continue to grow, please. So let's move over to the red onion. Let's see what's going on with these guys. You can look at one of our earlier videos where we did a taste test between the yellow, the red, the yellow, and the white onions. And there's a distinct difference between the onions. And you can taste it. I mean, now this food is going directly on my table. Wash it off, rinse it off, and I'm, I'm going to eat it. Not all of it, but it, I'll take part of my breakfast. Okay, done with the yellow onions. Look at this. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm telling you, dude, this will grow your food for you. You don't have any worries. You don't have any worries. Just follow our instructions, especially with the uh, the NPK 312 that we're recommending at this point. So give it a try. Once a week, I want you to organically fertilize your plant. And these are the white onions. The red, the yellow, and the white onions. And I'm gonna tell you something, the white onions grew the tallest. They're the tallest, the blades are more thinner. The, uh, the, the most juiciest of them all is the yellow onion. Um, it's, it's, when you bite into it, you get a burst of flavor, it just bursts right into your mouth. And the red has got, and the red has got a great taste to it, and it's also juicy. But the juiciest is the yellow. Um, uh, the more pungent is the is the um, white. The white is the more pungent. It tastes like a peppery taste. But the yellow, the um, the red is not too far behind. I love the red, but clearly, I think when it comes to using them in your meals and getting the more flavor, definitely go with the um, with the yellow onion. When it comes to spicing up a salad, you definitely want to go with the white onion. They all have their purpose. Find out what it is for your diet. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm telling you, this is like a pound of onions. I'm serious. Let me see, do I have a scale around here? I gotta go find it. But anyhow, let me show you what we have here. Guys, Torpedo Pie grows your food. I don't care when you're growing, what you're growing. Look at those blades. Do you see any damage or any of those blades? These are self-growing planters. These planters behind me, they grow your food for you with no human intervention. All you do is put your bulbs in, your onion bulbs in, or whatever you want to do, seeds, bulbs, whatever you choose to do, and it grows it for you. No blemishes. Nothing. Perfect food all of the time. Hey, so Peter Pie grows your food. These planters, you don't have to water them. 
they set up a microbial process where they actually feed your plants for you. And the only thing we do is supplement with a 312-12. But with results like this, you're guaranteed to have food for the rest of your life. Don't be wasting, throwing money away, trying to go to different restaurants to eat. Food is right before you and lots and lots of it that you've never seen before in your life. Talk to you guys later. As you guys have waited faithfully, I'm going to get the scale. <laughs> Okay, got a scale, guys. I'm going to zero the bag out first. Bag is 0.6. I'm going to tear it. Okay, let's see what we got here. All right, guys, one pound, one point, one pound, 1.6 ounces. So one pound, 1.6 ounces. And this is the third harvest. The second harvest was, I think it was one pound also. The first harvest was just simply lightly going through, demonstrating, cutting things off. But of those three harvests, I would say right now, out of these three panners, I can safely, faithfully say that we have over 2.3 pounds of chives coming off these planters. Talk to you guys later. Darrell Addison, torpedopot.com. Darrell Addison, torpedopot.com. We make self-growing planters. I'm growing okra. I'm growing tomatoes. I have lettuce that grows 24 hours a day. I have a mint, parsley, chives, radish. We're going to do another video on that. We have over 2,000 pea pods. We're going to grow tomatoes, which will be 2,000 tomatoes. Strawberries, which is harvested in one 20th planter. I think it was... 34 strawberries, no, it's 40, 43 strawberries, 43 strawberries and one planter. And so it's growing more. We expect at least to have 100 to 150 strawberries in a 20-inch planter. We got so many things going on. Take a look at us. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.